Today's Dear Jane block that we'll be working on is G3, also called the Four Leaf Clover. First I'm going to trace my clover and the outer border onto freezer paper and then iron those onto the back of my focus fabric, which is this yellow. My freezer paper is now pressed shiny side down on the back side of my fabric. Since I do have a bit of a grid on this fabric so it becomes kind of directional. I made sure to line up my pattern so that it went along with the grid. Same with the clover. I lined it up so that the grid would go straight through the clover instead of being all cattywampus. Now I'm going to cut out my pattern around both of these templates, leaving a quarter of an inch seam allowance around all parts, the outer and the inner on this one. I have my two pieces cut out with their quarter of an inch seam allowance, but we're dealing with curves here, so there's something that we need to take care of. In order for this to be able to fold, I need to clip on the curves. And when I'm clipping, we want to clip close, but not all the way into the seam. So now that that seam is clipped, I can turn it and it will fold over my template. I'm going to do that on all the inner sides. When we come to the outer curve, we're going to end up with more fabric than we need. Now either I can leave that and just fold in and press in that corners and have a little bit of a pleat or I can clip some of the excess away and I would do that once again by not getting too close but then that allows the fabric to fold in and not have too much excess. With this clover, we're going to be dealing with just this very tiny little in um, this little wedge right in here. So once again, I'm going to clip within a two within a couple of strands from there. So then when I press it, I can press it over, and my needle turn applique, I will be able to snag those little threads in there and stitch it down. Just be very cautious when you're cutting that you don't get into your seam. For this block, we only need one piece of background fabric, and I've cut this background fabric six inches, so it's a little bit larger than my five inch square template. But that allows me to have a little bit of wiggle room for when I stitch down my applique. I've pressed my applique pieces and they aren't going to be fully pressed under, but what I can see are the impressions of the fold mark. So I'll know where to stitch that down. Same with the clover. Um, I'm going to remove my template here and you can see that there are fold indentations, fold indicators of where I need to stitch. In order to get this in the center, I'm going to finger press this block in half and in half again. I don't need to have a big press, but what this will do is show me where the center is and that'll iron out. So I have my center here and I can line up my clover in the center oops, and then along those crease lines. So I'll start with the clover and then I will line this up around that. Okay, so I'm gonna start stitching this down. My center clover is now stitched on. You can see it's a little funky. Um, I didn't quite get as sharp of points in there. I'm thinking that instead of doing the freezer paper, it might've been easier, or it might've been more precise to just draw the design and the, on the outside and use that as my guide to needle turn. But regardless, it will look fine from a distance. 
no quilt police here. Now with this outer part, I will line it up. I'm going, whoops, I will pin it all down and I will stitch the center seam first and then I will fold over or fold under the outer part and stitch that down. The block is all applique down and now it's ready for a good pressing and trim it to size. My block is now pressed and trimmed. When I trimmed the block, I made sure to measure the outer edge and make that even more so than the center. You'll notice my center is a little off, but the outer edge is what will be most noticeable when it is off center. So on all the way around, I've got that extra um, quarter of an inch that will show once the block is sewn into the row. I hope you've enjoyed watching this walkthrough of block G3, the four leaf clover. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below or send me an email at soitseemscreations at outlook.com. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so that you'll know when the next video of a Dear Jane block is posted.